I'm having a real bad makeup day. <laughs> it took me an hour to get ready. I had to take off my face twice completely because I just kept messing things up and I just, I got frustrated. So don't judge if you see anything you don't like today. All right guys, I have my project polish update once again. So this time it's also pretty exciting. It's, I think I'm getting onto a good spot now because after four months use, I'm finally seeing a lot more progress because I started the project this year with a lot of full-size new bottles. So I think this is now finally a good time for me for this project, so I'm happy with it. First of all, I was able to finish one nail polish in my project last month. The polish I was able to finish is from Julep. The color is called Anne. This one is a brighter kind of pink color, almost borderline coral red. And I put it in this project two months ago, so that's where I started and that was my last update and I finished the rest of it completely. I think at the end, like I still don't know if I like it. I think it's a lovely color, but it's rather loud and bright and it doesn't have that like classic red feeling because it's much more pink so it feels very much like a summery color like it's not my polish you know sometimes you just feel certain colors fit your personality this one isn't really for me but the formula of itself is like great it has a very subtle very subtle like shimmer going on i don't think you can really see it on your nails it just makes the nails look rather glossy so I think overall it's a good polish, good formula, and I actually did, I think, two things with it this month. First is that on Easter, I did a strawberry mani, so interesting story here that I think we had a strawberry shortage. The day before Easter, I went to five different grocery stores and couldn't find even one single carton of strawberries. And then that was just kind of crazy, so I got inspired to draw some strawberries on my nails. So I used this one as a base, I think it's a perfect strawberry base color. And then I used some nail art pins from Sally Hansen like this. I used the green to draw the leaves and the black to put on the little speckles. So first of all, I think those pins are really not meant for drawing big surface areas. So because it has a pretty sharp tip I guess you can tell and the tip is rather hard it's not fitted for like pulling color if that makes sense it's as if you're using like a really sharp tip pin to draw like a big surface area it just doesn't do it that well and also because I didn't wait long enough so my pink color underneath was still a little wet with a hard tip trying to draw on it like I kind of messed up the base color a little bit so the the green part was very iffy, very hard to control, and it just like I wasn't a big fan of using this for that purpose. But on the other hand, like using this black to draw the little dots was perfection. I think this is meant to be used for very precise little drawings, so I think this black one did a fantastic job. And then I used some toppers in combination with this. I just, because like I said, I wasn't too sure about the color on me, so I wanted to change it up somehow. I tried uh, Night Owl Lacquers Just Like Magic. That one is a silver linear hollow topper, and I figured maybe it could look nice. I think that one turned out pretty good, like it's okay. That's pretty much what I did with this polish. I think it really reminds me of like the 60s or 70s um, time era, you know, Kind of like the girls from Mad Men, I feel they would wear a color like this. Um, anyways, I'm glad this one is done. I don't hate it and it's just kind of like a weird color for me. And this is my wheel now, so you can see I have quite a few polishes going on right now. And of course that one is finished and those two are finished. So the rest of the colors are rather uh, muted and neutral-like. So let's just go down the wheel by order. Uh, first of all, we have this silver hollow glitter topper here. This one is from Ginger and Liz. The color is called Icing on the Cake. It's a chunky glitter and I just, I started to get really tired of it. I just cannot like any nail combo that I come up with it. I just feel it's too loud, too funky, and most of the time I, I just don't enjoy it. I was thinking maybe I should do like a jelly sandwich with it because that way it's not so sparkly and blingy. Maybe the jelly on top would kind of mute it a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to try that next month, but those are my progress lines. That's where I was last time, and this is where I am now. I just shook this up a little bit, but this is my Zoya Beth, and you can see the progress lines. That's where I was last time. This is where I am now. I think the progress is being really consistent, surprisingly, even though the bottle's cinching in 
significantly at the bottom you can see all this chunk is just glass now so i actually slowed down on my progress if you consider the shape of the bottle anyways this month i only uh, used zoya leia on top of it i think that color comes out pretty nicely i do like it that the leia uh, color added a kind of like a purplish shimmer on top so that turned out pretty interesting and pretty looking and i enjoy that combo quite a bit maybe i'm just a little bit more chatty today i realize i have quite a few stories i have to tell um, anyways, the next one here is a silver linear hollow. This one is from uh, L'Oreal. It's Masked Affair. It's this one right here. I grew really tired of it this month. I just, I cannot bring myself to wear it at all. I just, I don't even want to look at it. I don't know what it is. Something about me, I just didn't want to wear it anymore. But you can see that right now it does not look silver anymore. That's because I added another polish inside of it. <laughs> I just grew so tired of the color, I just cannot imagine myself to use it anymore. And here, on the other hand, I have this like uh, pretty bright cool tone pink here on hand from Color Club, and the color is called In Bloom. I wasn't like the biggest fan of this color on my skin tone, so I figured, hey, what if I just like put some of this into this color. Maybe that will get me something that I would enjoy more. And I probably, I don't know, I didn't measure anything. I just like poured it over. I think I probably dumped maybe 10 to 15 drops into this polish. When I finished mixing everything, it was actually above that line. And then right now I'm like slightly below that line. I just feel like it's, it's too close to my last update line. So I didn't mark it again, but man, like, I am in love with this color. It's like perfect for my skin tone. It's very dainty, almost kind of manicure looking and a little bit on the neutral side. Another thing though, I feel I could add a little more pink in it, honestly. I wouldn't mind it being a little bit darker, just slightly more, but at the same time, I am panning it. I don't want to keep refilling it to make it more and more, you know? That's just something that I did that I really enjoyed and I'm glad it turned out okay and I'm super happy about it. All right, next I have my Zoya Estelle. This one is a deeper kind of royal blue metallic color. It's beautiful, it's saturated, and it's bright on your nails. The thing is that I was hoping to use it more because I know once the weather gets warmer, I probably wouldn't want to use a dark color like this. So I really tried this month and I moved it down quite a bit. You can tell that's where I was and this is where I am now. I'm very happy with that progress. It seems like I can even maybe finish it next month if I really try. I think this month I really try to use it in different ways so that I don't get too tired of it. So I actually tried to use Doya Leia again. I think Leia on top of this isn't isn't something I expected and I I don't think I like that combo too much because it's just too contrasting I, I just think that purple shimmer doesn't really mesh very well with a blue base um, it, it just threw me off a little bit I I probably wouldn't do that again but on the other hand I think just like magic from Nia Lacquers worked magic <laughs> on top of Vestel. So I think that really brought out even more of that glossiness that Zoya Estelle has and it makes it a hollow. It's just like beautiful. And then this hollow effect becomes so much more stronger compared to like over Julep Anne because I think maybe because the color is deeper, I don't know what, what the chemistry behind it is, but I just feel the hollow looks so intense and so gorgeous. I love that combo so much. And a more complicated thing that I did with Zoya Estelle is to combine it with Beth. So I did a gradient polish with those two. I actually think the outcome turned out really great. I love that color combo. There's something about it. It just looks elegant and looks put together. And it wasn't like that much work for me, honestly. So I loved, loved, loved this combo. And then after that, of course, I just couldn't stop. I figured maybe what if I stamp over it because, you know, those gradient stamping things on Instagram, they look so amazing. So I grabbed my stamping plate that I recently got. This one is from Purine and it's a fairy tale lover collection plate. So in this plate, there is just like one little heart image. So I want it to go with something messy looking. So this one doesn't look like it has a very strong pattern of any sort. So I just decided to go for that one. And I think Beth is a little bit too light or the color doesn't show very obviously against the deep blue. It was really hard to take a picture of it because the reflection kind of just covers uh, Zoya Beth. It just 
it looks a little bit more obvious in person than on camera but at the same time i actually really really enjoy how it turned out i think it's just something about having those vines like those heart shape kind of gradiently merge into this like solid um beth color tip it just looked so good and i was totally into it and i didn't want to take it off for days and it just looked amazing but i wish i tried a different color though then that way you know the the stamping will look a little bit more obvious all right let's move on so the next one i have is also from julep this one is in the color maria and i put this one in last month so that's where i started this is where i am now um decent progress i think i didn't do anything with this polish it's my go-to when i need a quick manicure because i know metallic colors always dry super fast and i could do even just one coat if i really want to but i feel at one coat you will have those like um spots that didn't cover very evenly i would recommend two but if you're really in a hurry you can just do one coat without a top coat like it would dry in like a minute um, so that's pretty much all that I used it for when I was in a hurry I went for this and it did not disappoint me then I have poolside from Maybelline so it's this baby blue color it almost looks like what I have on my nails but I actually have uh, SC virgin snow on my nails right now you can see it's a little bit more blue under comparison anyways um, this one is more on the liquidy kind of formula side um, not in a bad way I think it gives a kind of like squishy feeling um, I used quite a bit of it I think that's decent progress um, I'm really happy with that progress because I didn't even feel like I was trying really hard with it um, but the only thing I did with it is that I used Leia on top of it again can you tell I really really love Zoya Leia it's just such a magical topper like when you look at it in the bottle it doesn't look like it's much at all but it just gives that strongest like purple shimmer when you use it over other things i think those two colors are almost a little bit too similar that the shimmer didn't really show too strongly against the space color but it was okay like i i didn't love it but i certainly didn't hate it either it was just something that i wish it has a little bit more of a punch and the last color I have here is from Deborah Lippmann. The color is called Flowers in Her Hair. It's just a minty green cream color. And um, this one is a mini bottle, so it doesn't really have much in it. 8 mils, so it's as big as a julep bottle, honestly. I think I really kind of hated this bottle. <laughs> I think mint greens doesn't look the greatest against my skin tone. That's one thing. On top of that, the formula of this really sucked. I don't know what it is. Like, it's really thick. I feel when I paint my nails like I you know would try to push it close to my cuticle to have that perfect smile line but it's like you push and push it just wouldn't go like the color wouldn't go in and all in a sudden like boo like it went too far and it would get onto your cuticles so I think it's just really hard to control it to like the the detail spots and every time when I use this I always have to do a lot of cleanup and on top of that, it really shows any imperfection on your nails. If I have any peeling or any like uh, texture on my nails, it certainly, it certainly shows it. More than shows it, like it would amplify any imperfection on my nail beds. So it just does not look smooth and glossy at the end. So I was like, ah, I can't, you know. <laughs> but I actually used it quite a bit because every time when I fail at it, I would feel oh maybe i just didn't do a good job applying it let me try it one more time so i kept going back and kept trying to make it work so in turn i actually used it quite a bit uh it's a little bit ironic regardless i think the only one thing that i really love about it is that i used it in combination with zoya leia again i think this combo turned out pretty nicely especially because of the shimmer the reflection it really uh, camouflaged all the nail texture that this brought out so um, i at least don't feel like i'm looking at my ugly nail beds anymore gosh i feel there are like so many polishes now and it took me forever to go through them um and of course that's not enough for me that's not a good enough reason so i of course had to add one more polish <laughs> it's only a mini bottle this color is leslie this is one of the two polishes that i have backup of uh, this one is a mini i bought it loved it and i figured maybe one day i'll run out so i bought the full size of course i never ran out of it <laughs> so this is where i am now i did use it 
a few times enough to show some use and it's just a beautiful color it's a dusty light purple with a very very strong blue shimmer inside i think prior to my indie days this was like totally amazing and it's something i've never seen before so i fell like head over toe over it and now i've had so many indies this isn't something that's super unique anymore but still it's a very good polish very good formula so i just want to finish this guy i figure i will show you this because well other than my empties i probably would never show something like this to you this is a empty base coat <laughs> um i wasn't really panning it or anything i was just using it and i finished it this one is from glinson glow it's just the base coat you can see that there is a little bit left in there but it just i can't get it out anymore like the brush wouldn't reach it when it goes this way even when i tilt it like the brush just wouldn't fetch it you know right angle and also it's rather thick so it tends to mess up my manicure so i just decided you know it's it's really not worth it for that but i finished it so i figured you guys probably would want to see it so that's it guys i know this one is super long i hope you don't mind i did do quite a few things with my nails that that took a little bit longer of a explanation i guess and if you guys enjoy any nail things related uh, you should hang out on my channel quite a bit because i have a lot of nail related things videos uh, i will have them linked down below and if you like this video don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to my channel and thank you guys for watching bye